Hello, gamers. After the disaster that was Rock and Racing Off Road DX, I think we owe it to ourselves to try Mantis Burn Racing. Um, this game has quite an enthusiastic little following, and on other platforms, and those that have played it on the Switch have had lots of good to say about it, calling it the perfect fit for the Switch, being that you can play it wherever the heck you want. So uh, I'm very excited to jump into this and give it a try. Just going to take a very quick, quick, quick look at this today. Interesting to note that it actually has um, graphic settings, which is very cool. And a step in the right direction for consoles. I'd like to see more of that. We have cross-platform play, so you can actually play and compete against Xbox One gamers and Steam gamers or whatnot. I hear that the Switch version is better than the Steam version, which is for sale very cheap right now. Um, I decided to go for the Switch version because I thought it was more relevant. I do think the Switch is the perfect fit for multiplayer gaming. Um, and I hear the Steam version is, um, I don't know, a little wonky, but maybe that's been worked out recently. I don't know. It is much cheaper right now, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and play it on the shiny new Nintendo Switch and just throw down a quick local race to wet our feet. I'm looking at the leaderboard to the right there. Very cool. I like seeing my YouTube handle on the bottom left. Nice. Do follow, please. Or subscribe, I should say. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook. All right, let's jump in. Uh, see if we can pick a car. Um, I did something wrong. <laughs> I don't know what uh, happened here. Oh, here we go. Oh, speed, acceleration, grip, suspension, boost. Already better than 4x4 off-road DX that there are actual statistics for my vehicle. Grip. So let's go ahead and choose this pink card just because it's cute. Track, weather, time of day, afternoon. Summit. Let's do random. Although I do want to drive forward, not reverse. I can't do random. Random's all random. I'd like to do random, but be driving forward. So whatever, let's race. This interface is a touch confusing. At first, I'm guessing it's really not that confusing. It's just uh, that I'm recording and speaking while playing for the first time. So it's throwing me off a little bit. Be sure to check out the extensive career, upgrade your cars, take them online. See, this is all that ZR to accelerate and ZL to brake. Boost gauge. This is all 4x4 off-road racing needed to really kick ass. Um, it has none of this. Alright, R to change camera angles, which are... Let's just drive right now. So I am playing with Joy-Cons. This is the gas pedal. pedal. And uh, I am pink, and it actually has my name. Let's play, uh, play with Greg on it, which I love. Already there's a shortcut in the track. Very cool. Loving this. 60 frames per second beauty on the switch. And I'm into the wall. That's okay. Racing games really aren't my bag, so I'm not the best person to be covering this game, but that's okay. I did grow up playing a super sprint and a super off-road. And I do have a soft spot for that kind of racing game. Micro machines, games like that. I think this kind of falls into what I like. Right away, I'm seeing the cars are leaving dirt tracks. Um, got some drifting going on. Uh, this is everything 4x4 off-road DX should have been. A rocket racing off-road DX, it isn't, so. Not a bad first start. Everything looks nice, runs smooth. I like to see some jumps, that's what I like to see. I think I have a boost earned, that green thing. I'm not sure if it's got the further ways to go, if it has to go all the way around or not. Or what I'd even press to do the boost. I know it's a camera angle change button, but I don't know what it is. Nothing on. Oof, that was my boost. I just did it. 
there was uh, A and I wasted it. I'm in eighth place, I think. I'm gonna get a little better though. We're gonna do some more videos. We're gonna check out all the courses one at a time. And uh, hopefully try to win some, try out some of the upgrades. But I do know you can upgrade your car and I'm I'm using like the very basic car with terrible speed. All it had was good grip, but terrible speed. I'm already getting better as I get around these turns a little bit. I have completed this event. Uh, it could use a commentator. Even though it's a mixed bag, if they screw it up, it can be annoying. Which is even just, you know, something that announces the place uh, in the finishing positions would be nice. So that's that. That was my first race in Mantis Baron. I did pretty good. Let's see what happens. I earned some experience points. Nice. Hmm. One star, two stars. I see a shock upgrade, a motor upgrade. Interesting. Let's continue. All right, so that's that. So I can't upgrade just yet, looks like. But I can still switch vehicles. I'm not stuck, committed to that vehicle. I like it. Online, wireless, garage, my game. Interesting. That's my first look. Uh, we'll play some more another time. So keep an eye out, uh, look out for that. But so far, it's positive. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.